Hello everyone. My name is Syed. I know that you're seeing me after a long time. Nearly one and a half years. And the reason for my absence was something that a lot of people choose not to be open about. I was dealing with depression and anxiety. And I truly don't know how it all began or when it began, but slowly it took over me. And it incapacitated me to an extent that I lost my never ending drive and motivation. And as a result, needless to say, my work took a big hit, my personal relationships took a hit, and even my physical health took a hit. Mental health challenges are entanglements that you never truly come out of, but there are ways to cope with them. Most of us associate the stereotyped craziness shown in movies with mental health issues. But more often than not, it all happens silently. A person can seem physically healthy, they can appear to be in a good mood, but they can still have a mental health problem. Through these many months of recovery, I have realized the importance of mental health. And in today's scenario where we are all dealing with this pandemic and we are confined to our homes, mental health discussions are more important than ever. Because most people are experiencing distress that they haven't experienced before. I'm going to close this video with an analogy that Curtin University professors use in their course on mental health. Imagine mental health as a traffic light. Red light is crisis. Yellow light is not being able to cope. And green light is feeling well. If you are in a mental health crisis, which means if you feel anxious or depressed or you have constant thoughts of self-harm, you need to seek professional assistance. Remember, there is no shame in consulting a psychologist or a psychiatrist. If you are trying to cope with your mental health challenges, but you are not able to, then you should seek opportunities to better manage self and your situation. Get in touch with professionals like counselors or even your friends and share with them how you feel. I've said this before, I'll say it again. Seeking help is a sign of strength. Finally, if you are feeling psychologically well, Focus on keeping your health that way. Reflect on what is working well for you and nurture it. Just like a traffic light system, we need to be aware of how our emotions and interactions influence our behavior. When we are in traffic, the red light is clearly telling us that if we continue to drive, we are putting ourselves and others at considerable risk. Our bodies are only able to manage a finite amount of stress before we are in crisis. Moving forward, along with regular business content, I will be sharing posts aimed at improving mental health. Please be kind to one another, smile at people, ask them how they're doing, help someone in whatever way you can. Thank you for tuning in. I wish you happiness.